And then this one right here, which is a bit brighter, white. It's got some of the tinsel flake in it with the chartreuse and the red. It's usually something you go to in the uh, middle of the day when the sun's out and the sun's bright and the winds come up. Those are the two choices. And uh, I'm here with these things, they, the philosophy is that the squeakier the better. And you can actually take pliers and kind of pinch these, uh, these areas here where they hook the blade to get them to actually squeak a little more. But because for some reason, you seem to get more hits when it's a lot squeakier. And that's the bait selection. They also have some that sort of split right here that have two blades on each side that keeps this sort of in the middle away from the blades. And like I said, with that double, you can really get a nice slow roll across the top. So you want to hear like a burp, 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 burp kind of sound rather than a, like a woo, like a whizzing kind of sound, which is what I used to do when I fished these. And uh, I didn't have much success with them, but now that I've slowed it down a bit, you now you can tell starting to get some good fish on it. Um, seem to be a difference. I was just zooming it across the top. And as far as the pole for this, um, I'm using a six and a half foot medium heavy. You want something that has a good strong tip on it. So you can really get the hook in it because as you can see the hooks on these things are pretty big size hooks. So I want some, with some power to actually sh shove it through their, uh, their jaw when they hit. And I'm using 17 pound line on it because a lot of times you're fishing around weeds and stumps and things they can pull you into. And I don't usually talk about the reel too much, but on this one it's very important to have a, a 5 2 to 1, a 5 1 to 1 reel. Something that doesn't bring in much line on each reel handle because it's one of those fast ones, anyway, you kind of try to slow down, you're still actually zipping the thing along pretty quick, and it's hard to really kind of mentally slow yourself down like that. It's easier to have something like this that you kind of have to be a little faster to get it to move that slow. So it's an important thing on uh, this technique. So get yourself a couple of these. Uh, this is by Wacko Tackle. But Strike King. And there's a lot of different companies that make them, but I really do like these double blades because you can really slow it down. So it's just barely moving across the top. It seems to be what they like with these things. Something that's making blurping noises and squeaking and it's moving slow. So give it a try and see how you do. Another thing too is you can get these all day. You can fish on these all day. And it's not necessarily morning. And I know most of the time you're fishing around weeds and stumps, but you can actually use these things around cliffs and, and, and steeper rocks, especially if you're going for smallmouth or uh, spotted bass. So don't be afraid to go try them against cliffs rather than hang around the weeds like most people do. Big open flats and places like that. So go give it a try. It's a good lure. That's what buzz can do for it. That's a good two pounder, maybe two and a half. Back here in the bright sun without any wind. The important thing with this, this bait, I've actually been fishing these things for a while. I never really had too much success on them. And I was reading an article. 
but the one thing you want to do with this is push it as low as you can. Gently. Enough to get those blades spinning right on top. And just really slow kind of roll. If you want to hear kind of a Fish it. I would do that. You kind of lose it down because fish it like that. Also, with color, it does that. There's the stores. Light colors. When the sun's up full and bright. When it's cloudy out or early in the morning use lighter colors, I mean darker colors in the morning. Which is it about saying? Any bait you want to use, you want to keep some darker colors in the morning and see your form of food. And bring it up a little brighter, flashier colors to get a brighter sun. I think that's going to about wrap up this edition of Southern Coast Bass. So get yourself a buzz bait. Come on out here and throw it around. And remember, the slower the better. Get yourself a good double buzz like this, or you can get a just a half ounce. You can get a lighter ounce one that has one blade, but something you can crawl about as slow as you can to keep it on the top. It will get you some good fish. It is the season. I'll be hitting this, you know, spring all the way through fall into November. You can get some good fish on the buzz. Try it out. Have some fun with it. It's an easy technique. Just real, real slow. Thanks, and we'll see you next time on another show. We'll probably be using a different technique in a, a different lake and catching some more fish. See you later. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm.